desktops to data centers. CompuServe to the cloud. The orderly march of progress. Yeah, no. Progress only looks orderly after it's happened. Before it's happened, it's problem after problem after whose idea was this anyway? Unworkable, unfeasible, impractical, impossible. But then you put your head down and you work the problem until answers emerge. New solutions that power you through the next problem and the next one and the next one and the next one until you get to greener buildings, cleaner cars, smarter factories, bigger blockbusters, interplanetary landers, walking cars. Four decades of solutions. But it's always been about one thing, finding new ways past whatever problem stands in our way. And we're restless to do more. And that's why we love problems. Because we know when you combine the right solutions, when you merge fields, and converge the technologies no one else can. What's wrong with right now can become what's better about what's next. It's about opportunities, not obstacles. It's about unleashing your talent, not restraining it. It's about unlocking insights in your data. It's about making the things that actually make the world a better place. So let's get out there and do just that. Let's blur boundaries. Let's reinvent rules. Let's redraw the lines that define your talent, your business, your entire ecosystem. Let's go do what doers love to do. Let's not wait for progress. Let's make it. Autodesk it. Haven't we come such a long way, all of us? Isn't it amazing how much has changed in our lifetimes, even for people much younger than me? Because the last couple of years were so strange. It was like a decade of change, all compressed into 18 months. We all had to change how we do a lot of things, at home and at work. I saw just how challenging that was for our customers. Digital transformation accelerated at a tremendous pace and some of our customers weren't ready for that big of a shift. But it wasn't like this transformation wasn't happening already. Even before lockdowns and social distancing forced so many of us to work from home, remote work was already moving our collaboration and our data to the cloud. All kinds of processes were already being automated. Platforms were already connecting consumers and producers, and mobile devices were connecting everything and everyone. And though technology has made it easy to bring our teams together, over the last 18 months, sometimes it felt like technology is what's kept us apart. With many of us working for long periods away from our colleagues for the first time, we've all been forced to spend too much time glued to our screens. And yet amidst all the disruption, we saw human ingenuity at an incredible pace and scale. We are making greener buildings and cleaner cars, smarter factories and bigger blockbusters than ever before. And though we're still facing more than our fair share of uncertainty, the problems of today are what a better tomorrow is built on. And because you make the things that actually make tomorrow a better place, I see all of you as innovators. And I see Autodesk's role as helping empower you to solve problems both big and small because our technology is a force multiplier of your ingenuity. I know Autodesk stands for those who do what it takes to actually change the world. The world you design and build, engineer and manufacture, create and produce. Today, our solutions span many industries, empowering innovators everywhere, but we're restless to do more. We don't believe in waiting for progress, we believe in making it. This year at AU, we're going to share our platform vision and the progress we're making on a flexible set of solutions, workflows, and data flows in a way that fundamentally shifts how we deliver value to you. To unpack what that looks like, let's start with where we are today. We're going back to work, but we're not going back to the way we used to work. We're certainly not gonna stop storing our data in the cloud or collaborating in the cloud. If anything, we'll be doing more of that. But when exporting, uploading, and sharing giant files doesn't produce giant returns, 
Maybe it's time we face a clear reality. It's not our files that are valuable, but the data that's locked inside them. You might want your files to be more accessible, but that's only because they contain valuable data. So what if we could extend the value the Autodesk Forge platform delivers today to connect entire ecosystems with accessible, extensible, and open data flows in the cloud? Data flows that connect everyone from the top floor to the shop floor. If we could do this, and if we could make the way that information is shared a completely fluent experience, what might that do for you, for your businesses, for your entire value chain? And what outcomes might that enable? These are big questions. So I turn to authorities on this subject, the people who work with project files and project data every day, you. The capability to share granular information such as metadata would be highly advantageous as teams are becoming increasingly decentralized and multidisciplinary. Anything that's going to allow a quicker response and a more focused response is what we're trying to get to. If I'm able to compile all the data in one place in totality, then I'm going to be able to save time. I won't have to go looking in five different places for the same kind of information to share that with people on my team. If we had the ability to exchange information on a dime, we would reduce the waste that we all suffer from. Having data available at any point in time is crucial in these um, multi-years, multi-layer projects that we are seeing in machinery, for example, because it's important that um, design engineers understand during the design phase what sales people discussed with the customer. Just the possibility to share your uh, designs in your calls and to edit the designs in your calls just as in Fusion Teams uh, are just like really, really important and interesting to me. We have to uh, develop product to meet people's different needs from different countries. So it's very important for us to have a platform that everybody can be working on. It would make sure that everyone's working off the latest information. I can't tell you how often trade partners show up to the job site and they're working off a submittal that's not even approved. If we could have all the data associated with a project live in one environment, then it would allow us to more fully execute on our brand as a full service solution provider. No matter what industry you're in, no matter what products you use or where in the world you are, Making data more accessible, more extensible, and more open will help unleash your talent, connect your processes, automate your workflows, and unlock valuable insights that will help your businesses. You don't want to spend so much time focusing on the products you're using, because as much as you might like Fusion and Revit, Maya and AutoCAD, what's really important is how these solutions help you complete your projects, which is why as well as investing in our products. For years, Autodesk also has been investing in a platform. The Autodesk Forge platform lets developers access design and engineering data in the cloud. These developers use Forge to connect processes, automate workflows, and unlock valuable insights. And just as Forge lets developers create more value, it does the same for Autodesk. Forge gives us a foundation to do so much more. We've already started to use Forge to connect the capabilities of our products. And in the coming years, we'll unlock the capabilities of our entire portfolio of products by collapsing them into common Forge components, making these capabilities available outside the confines of an individual product, taking us to a place where instead of dozens of individual products, we have one single platform that underpins all our customers' workflows, a platform that allows you to access, search, and analyze data easily, no matter what product it originated from, or whether it was created on desktop, web, or mobile. A platform that enables all project collaborators to work from a single central location, where the data from all their projects can be seen, used, and managed. A platform where data is unchained from files and file types, where your data can move fluidly between our solutions and other products that you rely on, this will fundamentally shift the way we provide value. Instead of having to navigate multiple products, 
you'll work in one environment with all your project partners. One environment for design and manufacturing, connecting everyone from the top floor to the shop floor to the same project data. One environment for AEC, where a project's collaborators can work together from design through operations and beyond. One environment for media and entertainment, where the entire production process will be connected in the cloud. Now, this doesn't mean our individual products are going away. Far from it. In fact, they're becoming more important than ever because we'll make the capabilities found in any one product today available in many different workflows tomorrow. And that's the key. That's how we'll help you unleash talent to create better outcomes for your customers by letting you focus on your project, not the product you're using. What our industries need now more than ever are solutions that are open, which is why I want Autodesk to help steer our industries towards open standards. Open standards that will lead to interoperability, consistency, and security across all industries and all platforms. Let's be clear, this is no small task. This is a multi-year vision. Converging the capabilities of all our products into industry-focused environments is going to take some time. It's a big shift, a shift that warrants evolving how Autodesk looks. You probably notice we look different at AU this year, but I don't want us to just look different. I want us to act different. I want us to help our customers make progress, not wait for it. I want us to empower innovators everywhere. And tomorrow, you'll hear from Amy Bunzel, Jim Lynch, Diana Colella, and Scott Reese about what we're doing to empower innovators like you. So tune in to see how we're making your data more accessible, more extensible, and more open. To see how restless we are to do more. <laughs>